on the road with Paul and Judy goes to the Green Lake Cis Trail in, oh, sort of southern Sawyer County, south of Stone Lake. And we're going to go hike and spot bugs and indulge Judy's obsession with fungus. All right, that's enough. Did you get my thin side? Oh, here's the trail. Oh, I didn't measure, but just a couple miles in, a mile in maybe from the highway. Wow, it's really thick in here. Oh, we actually go up here? Wouldn't yeah. that be far? Ready? Oh my word. Yeah, let's stop. Oh my gosh. What? The deer flies are everywhere around your head. Oh, I can see them. I wish I had one of those sticky things. I don't. This is the first time this year I've seen deer flies. Oh my gosh. I'm assuming this is Green Lake? I'm assuming this is Green Lake. I think it's probably either a fowler or an American toad. I get those two mixed up. <laughs> Great video. Well, I'm trying to get them to move. I'm pretty sure these are oyster mushrooms. They grow on aspen trees around here. There are two kinds, some in the spring and some in the fall. Um, basically, uh, you can eat anything, any kind of shelf fungus, you wouldn't want to because they're gross, but oyster mushrooms are pretty easy to identify. They're one of the easiest ones, and they're really good. Cool. I've read that some fungus, fungi, have up to 300 genders. Cool, and way to use your stage voice, Judy. Thank you. Cute little fungus. Cute little fungus. Cute little fungus. Cute little fungus. Can you tell I'm into the fungus? Can you tell I'm into the fungus? Can you tell I'm into the fungus? You are. Why are you so into fungus? Oh, I'm foraging for wild edibles lately. And that makes you a fungus file? No, I think that. Oh, here's a slug. You should be extremely cautious when you're looking for wild food. I can't find the slug with the camera. Look at the way he's poking his little head up from underneath Not the leaf. Terrible. That is so cool. You don't know what they are, Judy? No. Good are you? Well, honey, or honey, yeah. Did I, you hear the oven bird? Yes, I did. I feel that mushrooms are very, can be very dangerous, so I only know a couple, and those are only ones that I would try. So, I'm not sure what this one is. Listen to the oven birds. Shh. I don't think that's an oven bird. The one saying teacher, teacher, teacher was? This one isn't, though. That it's one way... teacher, that's just a chirp. Not the chirping. Ooh. Never slap a bug on the hand holding the video camera. That oyster mushroom is very old. You wouldn't want to eat it. They need to be white and firm and fleshy. See, the little daddy long legs and beetles eat it up. Yeah, that's you don't want to eat it then. Wait, slimy. Which way should we go, Judy? Well, if I have to go on another wild goose chase, like oh my gosh, what was that? It's a big dragonfly. Was that my shoulder? Yeah. Cool. Ouch. Hey, this dra this mosquito bit your head through your hat. Nice. <laughs> that's awesome. I think that's a coral fungus. Ouch. It's beautiful. What is that? Millipede. Cool. What kind of ground nest is that? Well, I'm assuming it's a hermit thrush. And but we, it could be a wood thrush. We found it because we just kicked the bird out of it because it was close to the trail and she flew off when we walked by. And I'm having a hard time holding the camera still because there are 10 million mosquitoes I wasn't eating. paying attention at the beginning, but the brown square is puzzling. I think it tells you there's a bench to sit on. Well, why isn't there a picture of a bench? I think that cost extra at the sign store. Oh. No, you did. It just flew up. Shoot, let me look at this. So what did she say back to you? Walked like, into the weird silk room. things are like happening. I know. Weird mm. things are happening to us. I know. The haunted fungus trail. 
I don't think we're alone in the forest. <laughs> oh my god, we don't know what they are. We don't know who they are, but we're trying- Good god, another mushroom. Good god, another mushroom. Good god, another mushroom. The sun will come out tomorrow. Big rocks. How did these large rocks get here, Judy? Um, I'm not sure. Probably the people that built the trail. Look at these flew out of the it volcano. It looks like a smile. A smiley face. Cute. Cute. Scenic overlook. Overlook. Now it's getting pinier. <laughs>